Standing room only today at the New York State Equal Rights Heritage Center in downtown Auburn. It's the first of its kind gathering to honor Harriet Tubman 106 years after her death. News Channel 9's Julia LeBlanc shows us how the community is remembering a historic icon. Just like Harriet Tubman shining a light on the abolitionist movement, the Auburn native recognized today for the first annual Harriet Tubman Day at the New York State Equal Rights Heritage Center. Oh, Harriet, fuck you. I want people to know and appreciate what she did. Pauline Copes Johnson is Harriet Tubman's great great grandniece. She never met her relative, but she knows she moved mountains for her ancestors. This recognition for Tubman coming 106 years after her death is exactly what Pauline has been waiting for. She was a very courageous person to do what she did because she put her life on the line every time she went from the north to the south. Tubman spent her life surrounded by slavery. She lived an abusive childhood with her mother serving as a domestic slave. She and her siblings were separated, and after earning her own living, she dedicated her time to freeing people from the life she once lived. Harriet Tubman, you know, changed the course of America. She's a true American hero, and she's someone who's finally getting the recognition that she deserves. Tubman has roots right here in Auburn, spending her final years living on South Street. Her gravesite, church, and home are all here. But her story reaches far beyond central New York, still teaching others. To never be afraid, and that when you believe in something so strongly that you fight for it and you just persist, she persisted. I think that according to how these people feel, that we would be slaves still. Keeping Tubman's memory alive for generations to come. In Auburn, Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9. Thank you, Julia. And our very own Jennifer Sanders emceeing the event held in the brand new center. It opened last November.